With a new MLS team and stadium becoming increasingly likely, Sacramento will unlock a number of opportunities. Ugh, let's say sporting opportunities that are currently unavailable to it. Football to Sacramento? It's certainly something the XFL should consider. Sac State to FBS? Improbable, but worth a discussion. Simply put, anything is on the table should the Rail Yards Stadium get built. So why am I in this Bill Goldberg Sacramento Surge jersey? Well, it's pretty simple. The first professional sporting event I ever attended was the Sacramento Surge hosting the Montreal Machine at Hornet Stadium in 1992. It was a good game for a seven-year-old as the home team won 14-7, but the venue sucked. It was just a track and metal bleachers. Fast forward some 30 years and Hornet Stadium is still just a track and metal bleachers. Sure, there are some more bleachers than there were in the past and the track is a different color, but it's basically the same place. And make no mistake, this is a facility currently unfit for high school football, let alone any level above that. A lack of a proper venue has also hamstrung the city's efforts to bring in any alternative football league over the years and retain that franchise. Both the Surge and the Gold Miners drew well despite playing in this subpar facility. Hell, people still turned up to watch the Sacramento Mountain Lions play at Hornet Stadium some 15 years later despite it being dilapidated. Imagine the support an XFL team would get in Sacramento if they played in a brand new rail yards stadium. Quite frankly, this town is desperate for any sort of professional sports franchise to support. If the XFL were to place a team in Sacramento, it would be good for the league, it would be good for the city, and it would most importantly be good for the stadium. Plus, this would be significantly better than the Vegas Vipers holding matchups at Cashman Field, which was totally embarrassing. Anyway, there is a significant concern some of you out there may have. That would be the Sac Republic wouldn't want to share their brand new stadium with a football team. It's an argument that simply doesn't hold water though. Toronto FC of MLS currently shares BMO field with the Toronto Argonauts, so these arrangements aren't unheard of. Moreover, you have several MLS clubs already playing in NFL stadiums. The idea that anyone is stopping anyone else from using a publicly financed stadium is just absurd. The more events, the better, especially considering the goal of Sacramento is to bring as many people to downtown as possible because of this venue. That of course is impossible to do if potential tenants are being blocked, but please no aftershock. The XFL, USFL, or any other alternative football league that may spring up between now and the completion of the stadium is just one aspect that must be considered here. It could also unlock new opportunities for the region to get involved in college football, something that has been sorely lacking since the Camilla Bowl left in 1980. A bowl game returning to the city would certainly be interesting, although problematic. The weather of Sacramento during the wintertime doesn't exactly scream Chamber of Commerce postcard. However, the weather in Boise isn't exactly tropical either, so why not? Beyond that, there are also a growing number of bowls happening in existing MLS venues, which adds to the viability of this potential proposal. For example, the Cure Bowl has since moved to Exploria Stadium in Orlando, while FC Dallas's Toyota Stadium hosts the Frisco Bowl in addition to the FCS Championship game. At the very least, it wouldn't hurt to try. I mean, a college football bowl game in Sacramento couldn't be any worse than whatever they were calling the San Francisco Bowl in any given year, or the ill-fated Silicon Valley Classic in San Jose. The most exciting use of Sacramento's MLS Stadium for other purposes just may be as home for the Sacramento State Hornets stingers up. After years and decades in the wilderness, this is a program that finally has some buzz, pun fully intended, around it. That momentum has been kneecapped by Hornet Stadium, a place no one wants to go to see a game from unless it happens to be the Causeway Classic. Over the years, only the bare minimum has been done to keep this place up to code. Another factor to note is that Sac State is a commuter school. That means having an off-campus stadium really isn't a problem since most students are going to be driving to wherever the game is being played anyway. 
And as for alums and neutral fans, being downtown at the new rail yard stadium on a Saturday means they may want to hang out before and after the game as opposed to retreating back to whatever suburb from which they came. Another question that may arise in all of this is, could playing in a new MLS stadium help Sacramento State in a potential move up to FBS? Well, if we're being completely honest, probably not. Look, the school has a million other things to worry about than its football program, which has historically been neglected. However, an improved home would remove one of the most considerable obstacles for a school with a larger enrollment than Fresno State and is close to San Jose State in terms of student numbers, both FBS schools. This is certainly a unique time in Hornet history. Not only does the school's football program actually have some momentum behind it, but we're seeing a newfound sense of pride in Sac State as a whole. It's no longer that place high school kids and junior college grads in Northern California don't want to attend, but have no other choice. For the first time ever, Sac State is kinda cool. In that sense, playing in a new stadium, even if it isn't your own, could allow the school to further tap into the momentum assuming the lease terms were favorable. An opportunity like this does not come around all of the time. Not kicking the tires on a potential move to FBS would simply be foolish. Of course, the leadership and will required to do so is most likely far greater than anyone at Sac State has. That is a shame as there is no reason why the school couldn't be on the same level as the previously mentioned Fresno State and San Jose State. I say this not as a grad or even a person who has a vested interest in Sac State per se, but as an outside observer who wants to see what's best for Sacramento and Sacramento State. Ultimately, this is a complex issue and a discussion probably best left for another day. An MLS stadium being built in Sacramento is great because it finally means the Sac Republic are moving on up to the big leagues. However, the venue also opens up new opportunities for the other form of football which the city has supported over the years despite the general crappiness of Hornet Stadium, a venue the CFL deemed inadequate in 1995. If Sacramento can support David Archer, Bill Goldberg, and the old Sacramento surge in the early 90s, I am more than certain the city could support an XFL team or a college football team or really anything else as it relates to football. That does it for me. I'm Cheyenne Hollis. This is the Touchback. And as always, hashtag take it out to the 25.